All right. Let's watch uh, Lucasfilm and see what this whole Kenobi thing's all about. Here we go. In a whirl. Ooh, the music, though. How about this E.T. thing? It's all up in my way. This is Star Wars? Jesus. I'm coming. In a whirl. Still don't like how that guy looks. The white shots don't do him justice. Survive. She's gonna be a good guy. Twenty dollars. Clip that. All right, so he's competent. He looks like he's like seven-year-old Luke. When the time comes, he must be trained, like you trained his father. Oh! That was a burn. He's not wrong. I like the sets. He's gone. I'm kind of tired of Tatooine. I'm not gonna lie. You've been looking in the wrong places. God, stay bad. Twenty dollars goes to you guys if she turns, if I she stays bad. Every low life and bounty hunter to squeeze him. Look kind of cheap. Sets look pretty good. I'm not gonna... All right, so we're gonna get a lot of. Uh... Sorry, I'm just like, I'm laughing because that got me excited, but it's just like, I, I also have an eye for edit, and I'm just like, okay, is this like two separate, is, are these two separate scenes right here? He's not like behind him or anything, you know? I think it's just spliced together to be like kind of fucking sick. Dude, he is looking so much like Obi-Wan, and I'm, I'm excited for Ewan McGregor. I think he's going to, he's probably going to be the reason why the show is even watchable. Same thing with Moon Knight. It's the reason why it's watchable is because um, Oscar Isaac is just, her, his performance is, is something that you can still... It just it holds the rest of the uh, the show up barely, but it does. Uh, Moon Knight. So I'm I'm hoping I'm hoping and Ewan McGregor I would say I would venture to say is even a better. He's just a, he's a better actor I think than Oscar Isaac. Um, I mean he's been around longer. He has he's definitely has a lot more range. Uh, you know, not to compare the both or anything like that, but I just think he's a bit more seasoned. But he's uh, you know, I don't know if you can really compare the both or the both of them. Uh, I I don't know how to feel about. So okay I. You can and you can quote me on this. You can freaking uh, clip it, whatever you want to do. If the girl, if the girl, the Inquisitor-looking girl, and I can easily lose this money because Inquisitors don't just you know it's like it's like the mob. You, you don't just like up and leave the Sith. You don't up and leave like the uh, the Empire um, and and survive not very long. I don't even know if there's uh, Inquisitors that have done that. Sith, yes, but Inquisitors specifically, I don't know. Uh, if she turns good in any way, if she's like, oh my god, I've seen the error of my ways, or if the writing's like, oh my god, like, see, like, she was actually just put in a bad position, so that's why she's actually, like, working for the Empire, and that's the reason why. She's actually really good at heart. She's just really doing her job. She has really good work ethic. It's like, actually, she's just misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, that's the case. If it's anything like that. But if she stays fucking bad the whole fucking time, like, straight up, then kudos to that to the show, and I'll give you guys twenty bucks. Uh, we'll do a twenty dollar giveaway. I don't know much about this guy. He's probably from Rebels or some shit. I remember you guys were talking about him, and I don't know much or, or one of these two. They look, oh, they look very similar. They, look, they the same like species as Ara Singh. Like what the fuck? It'd be cool if she had like a backstory. I think that'd be a really sick fucking. Except she's like powder white like they are, so that's probably not a good look. <laughs> it's not racist. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let me let me let me check it out again. I feel like I didn't really get a good look at everything. What is it? What is it? That reminds me of like Marvel. Like it doesn't feel like Star Wars at all. Like right there. Like it feels like Iron Man. Like like being panned through like the sky and just going. You know what I mean? That just that doesn't look like Star Wars to me. Is that weird? Is that a weird thing to say. The coming. Oh, because it's actual Stay decent hidden. cinematography. Oh, we will not survive. All right, <laughs> Moon Knight. <laughs> Yeah, this kid looks like he's 10 years old, so it's been like a while. Leave us alone. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. I like how it was like a burn. He's like, fuck. You still want Kenobi. I thought, I do like the sets. The sets look really good. They look a lot better than um, other sets. Disney shows. You've been looking in the wrong places. I'm not convinced by her voice. I want every low life and bounty hunter. Ah, she just like why does it look so unimpressive to me? 
Okay, that was kind of cool. I didn't so I didn't see she deflected the last one. I didn't even realize he was in this. I don't know. Doesn't that look like? Doesn't that? Doesn't that sound not very like convincing? Here's the keys they jingle in front of your face for all the old Star Wars fans. Hey, fucking uh, Obi-Wan and Darth, Va uh, Darth Vader. So one thing that I'll say, you know, everyone's talking about that whole line where it's like, um, you know, last time, you know, I was but the teacher, you were the master. Strike that. Reverse it. You know, he was talking about the last time that they saw each other. And so it's not going to make much sense. They're going to have to retcon it to make them fight if they are going to fight in this series. But one thing they can do is... I just want like really good emotional visceral dialogue like I want that between them you know I want to see how after 10 years the things that he's heard Vader doing because you know he's getting news from like fucking he must have somehow I know he's kind of like disconnected from the rest of the Jedi you know all the other like scattered off people like Yoda and shit I think Shock T is still alive too I think so them seeing each other wouldn't need retconning if they're just there in front of their face maybe there's some kind of like there he's in some kind of bunker and he sees darth vader like through like a, a glass pane of some kind or something or they see each other and he can get away or maybe one of them needs to get away and they get away but they saw him and it's like oh shit but i would like want an exchange of words still just because i would just want that emotional part where i want to know how anakin feels and how he is now as darth vader a lot more collected not just but someone who's just like you know the way that he spoke to 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 obi-wan in in, in uh, new hope he was so calm collected he was ready to fucking kill his master no problem no worries without any emotional uh, uh, empathy or anything like he, he just he was ready for it you know he'd probably been waiting for that day for that day for years um so i would just want to see what that looks like and i don't want it to be fan service i just want it to be legitimate good writing i just want to see something between them that I, I i don't even know what to expect something i don't know you know what would obi-wan say to him do he have words for vader maybe maybe not one thing i'll also say is the show looks good and it looks like it's all these cool things it doesn't have like what i always wanted in a kenobi show which is i wanted it to be a character study of obi-wan finally i get to see like my favorite jedi kind of just in under a microscope and i feel like they're filling the show in with a shit ton of other characters and we're gonna get like a lot of runtime with those characters so instead of making a character piece where we really get to hone in on like what obi-wan is doing and yes obviously we need we need other content so that we can because it's not it's just gonna be him chilling as a hermit in tatooine desert like we need more obviously he leaves it looks like he leaves that that setting for whatever reason i feel like they are filling it in with a lot of other characters but they could have still i don't know maybe maybe it's not all filled in with other characters maybe it has him a lot and i really hope he's in every episode and i hope uh he's in you know more than half the episode i don't want him to be witchered out like they did in witcher season two or just felt like he wasn't really involved that much and the thing is they have it like they have the tools as far as the actor they have the talent he has range he can play a very good <coughs> aging obi-wan you know, where he even changes a little bit. For the most part, he doesn't. But, uh, you know, just, just to kind of see what he's, what he's like, kind of going through and shit like that. That's what I want to see. I just don't think they have the writers. I don't think they have the writers for it. They don't have the writers for a character study. So what they're going to do is fill it all in with action and fucking explosion, explosions and, and fighting and, and, and uh, dog fights in, this, in the sky or, the, or you know. And, and that's all well and good and that's fun. But if you realize the original trilogy didn't have all that all the time. Boba Fett actually had a, a good amount of, like, dialogue and like chill moments. The thing that was a problem with that was those dialogue moments were a lot like the prequel trilogy, which just really boring. So it was just too much dialogue, too much exposition, too many people just talking. You know, here's a shot of someone talking. Here's another shot of somebody talking. Here's another person talking, same person talking. And it's just that a lot with fucking green screen background. And I'm hoping that they don't do that either. You know, I don't want that. I just want a good balance. Here's a real high class bout. And a really good high class bout. Uh, but what do you guys think? I'm about to catch up with you guys on that, and then we can play some games.